Happy Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you for another day. We thank you for another Thanksgiving morning. Hallelujah. Great are you and greatly to be praised. Psalms 103 says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercy, who satisfies thy mouth with good things. We'll be eating some of those good things a little later so that thy youth is renewed like the eagle. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Amen. Hallelujah.
up that ain't nobody. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power.
God is great. And he's greatly to be praised. There's no God like our God. And we give him thanks. We give him praise. We give him the glory and the honor for it. This is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice and be glad in it. I love the Lord because he heard my cry <laughs> and pitied every one. And as long as I live in trouble, I, I'll hasten to his throne. I don't have time to sing that because we're going to be out of here in 30 minutes. <laughs> Amen. I have to be a man of my word. But I want to say praise the Lord and happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Amen. 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 If you will allow me, I'll just share what I have to say and then we'll take our offering and then we'll be on our way. Amen. All right. Amen. It's good to see everybody. Pray for one another. Pray for those who you may not see. Some people are traveling over the holidays, so pray for them. Amen. Amen. It's good to see our good friend, Pastor Norwood, here. Yeah. Amen. We praise God for him. He is a friend to this ministry. Amen. And he's a fellow servant in the kingdom of God. We give God thanks and praise for him, his family, his ministry over there on Broadway. Amen. Sister Hopskip Anderson, not even quite, huh? But we're right there, huh? Amen. Praise God for that. All right, I want to talk briefly uh, about thanking God. I, I, th I think that might be appropriate for a day like today. All right. It's always good to give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. And uh, before we get to the scripture that I, that I want us to get to, there's two words in the scripture that I want to give a definition of that, that might help us uh, as we go over what we want to share with you. Those words, two words, the first word is good, and the other word is mercy. Good and mercy. All right, in the context of the scripture that we're going to read, good, uh, it means well, beautiful, best, better, bountiful, cheerful, at ease, fair, to be in favor, fine, glad, uh, goodly, goodliest, goodliness, graciously, joyful, kindly, kindness, like it, best, loving, merry, merry, like merry, most pleasant, pleasure, precious, prosperity, ready, sweet, wealth, welfare, be well, favored. That's what good means in the context of what the scripture we're going to read. I want you to remember that because it's, it should encourage us once we read the scripture, uh, what we need to do, what we ought to uh, keep in our mind. The next word is mercy. It means kindness. Uh, it means beauty, favor, good deed, goodliness, kindly, loving kindness, merciful kindness, mercy, pity. All right. So now, having those definitions hopefully in our minds, we can turn to Psalm 136. Psalm 136. Psalm 136. Psalm 136. Uh, I have the Amplified Version of the Bible. This is what it says beginning at verse number 1 of Psalm 136. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. All those definitions that we read about good, that's a reason for us to give thanks unto the Lord. He's good. God is beautiful. God is the best thing that ever happened to all of us. God, he is fair. God is graciously, he's gracious, he's joyful, 
He's kindness. He's the best. His loving uh, mercy. God is pleasant. Pleasant. Huh? God gives us prosperity. God is precious, and he's concerned about our welfare. So, oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. He's good. We're not good, <laughs> but he's good. And the scripture goes on and says, for his mercy, his favor, his merciful kindness and pity. I'm so glad God takes pity upon us. Huh? For his mercy and loving kindness endureth forever. When patience with humans run out, God's mercy and loving kindness endureth forever. The psalmist goes on to say in verse 2, O give thanks to the God of gods. I like how it's printed there. G God, big G, of gods, little g. There's only one big G, and that's our God. <laughs> Amen. Oh, give, so he's making a declarative statement. If there is any other people or any other entity that think they're God, they're lowercase. Because God, our God uh, has the highest case. And since our God has the highest case, uh, our God should have the highest praise. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods uh, for his mercy and loving kindness endure forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords. So that now, 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 this makes it a little more personal. So sometimes people think that God is so far above that he can't be reached. But when somebody is the Lord, that means he is over your individual life. Huh? And we ought to thank God that he's over our individual lives. We ought to allow God to regulate our lives because he knows what's best for us. So, oh, give thanks to the Lord, capital L, of lords. Everybody who, who think they're in charge, you're not in charge. God's in charge. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords for his mercy and his loving kindness endure forever. To him who alone does great wonders. He alone does great. God does something that nobody else can do. God is in a category all by himself. And this is our great God. This is another reason why we ought to give thanks to him alone who does great wonders. Look at us. We're all miracles. We're great wonders. When we remember the situations that and the circumstances that we were in before we came to know God, and we understand that God knew us when we were way out there away from him, who alone does great wonders. It's a wonder that we're saved. Huh? Great wonders. It's a wonder. Nobody else but God could come up with a plan of salvation that would save a wretched, undone individual like me. I'll speak for myself. It's a wonder <laughs> to him who alone does great wonders for his mercy and loving kindness endure forever. To him who by wisdom and understanding made the heavens. God is God, and he is wisdom. He is wisdom, and he gives understanding. It was by his wisdom and understanding he made the heavens. He spoke, and it was so. For his mercy and loving kindness endure forever. Now, just think about all this power that God is demonstrating through the writing of the psalmist, and then he is still our God. Huh? This God who creates things and holds things in place by the word of his power. This God who spoke one time and things are still standing by that spoken word of God. And he's our God. And his mercy and his loving kindness endures forever. To him who stretched out the earth upon the waters, he stretched it out. Upon the waters, for his mercy and loving kindness endure forever. To him who made great lights, <laughs> he got the sun and the moon 
God is so awesome in his creative ability that he furnished the earth and made it habitable for mankind to live and survive. That's a great God. Uh, he put the right a mixture of chemicals and everything in place so we can breathe. Huh? He put gravity and everything in place so stuff is not going crazy and haywire. It's not because of the scientists. Uh, scientists have yet to discover what God initially put in creation. And they get prizes and Nobel Prizes and all kind of stuff for finding out something that God put there before day one. <laughs> for his mercy endures forever. To him who made great lights, for his mercy endures forever. His mercy and loving kindness endures forever. The sun to rule over the day, for his mercy and loving kindness endures forever. Every time we wake up and we see the sunshine, that's a testament of God's power and his mercy. Because if the sun don't shine, then the crops won't grow. And if the crops won't grow, then the animals that we eat won't eat. His mercy endures forever. We have a lot to give thanks unto God for. He says the moon and the stars to rule by night for his mercy and loving kindness endure forever. Just showing the creative majesty of our great God. His mercy and loving kindness endures forever. Now he gets to a little personal thing about his people. He said to him who smote Egypt. Uh, in their firstborn. See, God now is recording his history. Sometimes we ought to brag on God. Sometimes there's too much bragging on ourselves and on what we achieved. And we, it's truth be told, we achieved it by using the strength and the knowledge and the wisdom and the ability that God loaned to us. So here he begins in verse 10 to recall some of the great things that God has done. And as we look at this, I want you to recall in your mind some of the great things that God has done for you in your life. He said to him who smote Egypt in their firstborn for his mercy and loving kindness endure forever and brought out Israel from among them. Egypt uh, is a type uh, of the world. And all of us uh, was in Egypt. And all of us, the world uh, and the Pharaoh is a type of the devil, and the world and Pharaoh had us bound. But God, in his deliverance, the same way he delivered Israel out of the Egyptian bondage, he delivered each and every last one of us out of the bondage of sin. Why? Because his mercy and his loving kindness endure forever. He brought out Israel from among them. And just let me say, since he brought us out, from among them, we shouldn't want to go back in among them. I didn't say we shouldn't want to be around them because we have to be around them in order that we might win them. But we have to understand that we don't live like the world. For his mercy and loving kindness endure forever. He said with a strong hand and with an outstretched arm. That's how God uh, delivered Israel. Remember the ten plagues uh, that he put uh, on the Egyptians. It was a strong hand. And the Pharaoh, we understand Pharaoh, he was uh, stubborn and stiff-necked and would not let uh, Israel go. But when God got through, he let them go. And they didn't go empty. When God got ready for us to be saved, he came with a strong hand and an outstretched arm. His hand was full of strength. His hand was full of power. His hand was full of victory. And at the same time, his hand was full of compassion. His hand was full of mercy. His hand was full of love and tenderness because we were jacked up. Yes, we were. And God tenderly with that same strong hand brought us out. That's why we ought to give thanks uh, unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy and loving kindness endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea into parts, uh, remember the history of Israel, and I believe there were situations, uh, and there are situations uh, in our life uh, when we feel just like the children of Israel, 
trapped. We don't know where to go. It seems like every door is closed and there's things that are coming behind us just like Pharaoh's army came behind the Israelites and this uh, insurmountable obstacle in front of us. And the very same God who parted the Red Sea has the same power to move things out of our way. He has the power to cause us to walk in the midst of what other people might sink and fall and get stuck in. But he can allow us to walk through because he is our God and his mercy and his loving kindness endure forever. If anybody in the world ought to be happy to give God praise, it ought to be some of us whom God have moved some things out of our way. Listen, I couldn't kick no drug habit. I couldn't kick no alcohol habit, but when God saved me, he parted. Yes, he did. He parted that stuff. He took, this is what he did. This, this is a God that does wonders. He took the desire. Uh, God reached in. I don't know how he did it, uh, but he, he reached inside of my DNA with his strong hand and and he, and he found the right spot in my heart where the desire for alcohol and drugs was. And he pulled that stuff out of me. And he said it. I don't know where he said it, but he took it out of me. That's the mighty God with his strong and his powerful hand. And, 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 and then God allowed me to walk in bars, confiscate liquor when I was working at the hotel and not take a sip. Glory, hallelujah, because the desire was gone. Nobody can do that but God. And if you really tell the truth about it, God has taken some desires, uh, not just from me, uh, but from a whole bunch of us. Huh? Nothing but the grace uh, and the mercy uh, and the loving kindness uh, of God. Then, then uh, he said he made Israel to pass through the midst of it. Through what? The Red Sea. God can cause us to walk uh, uh, through stuff uh, that would uh, knock down uh, and depress uh, the average person. Uh, but we're not the average person uh, because we're not serving an average God. Uh, we're serving the God of glory. So God allowed Israel to pass through uh, the midst of it uh, for his mercy. Uh, God, listen, God's mercy is something. God's mercy is precious uh, and his loving kindness uh, endures forever. And then what did God do? He said, verse 15, but shook off, <laughs> shook off and overthrew <laughs> Pharaoh. <laughs> Glory. Hallelujah. I get excited about that. He shook him off. <laughs> he said, all right, you done messed with my people long enough. <laughs> I ain't got to really deal with you. I'm just going to shake you off. Glory, hallelujah, that's what he did to the devil on the day that we got saved. He shook that rascal off of us. He said, this one belongs to me. He belongs to me. She belongs to me. He said, the scripture said, but shook off and overthrew Pharaoh and his host into the Red Sea. So when did God shake off the devil and overthrow the devil? Y'all asked a good question. He did it at Calvary when he went to the cross for you and I. He shook that rascal off because the princes and the powers of the world, they thought that they had won. They thought when Jesus was going to be crucified, they was getting ready to have a celebration but uh, the Bible said uh, three days later, uh, Jesus, uh, he got up from the dead, uh, shook off death. Uh, he tasted death uh, for every last one of us. Uh, he tasted it. Uh, all right, give me that. Uh, if you will, uh, he took death to the head. Uh, he said, all right, uh, I'll drink it uh, for every last one of them. Uh, but uh, on the third day, uh, he got up uh, according to the scriptures. Uh, yes, he did. And uh, when he got up, uh, he got up with all power. So the power that the devil thought he had, uh, he got up uh, with all power. So God uh, shook off uh, and overthrew Pharaoh 
and his host uh, into the Red Sea. And this is what God has done to all uh, of our enemies. Uh, we have to be thankful uh, because the Bible said uh, we are more than conquerors uh, through him uh, that loved us. Uh, so the next time uh, your enemy uh, and his imps uh, try to get at you, uh, turn around, uh, you got the power uh, of the Holy Ghost uh, to shake them off. Listen, and they understand because God shook them off. So it won't be strange to them. So you walk in the authority of the great God of our salvation that we have. Listen, the best thing that ever happened to us for is for us to receive salvation. If nothing else happens, what we think is good in our life, we ought to give God thanks from here to eternity because we're saved. Uh, by his power divine. Uh, we're saved uh, to new life. Uh, sublime life right now uh, is sweet uh, and my joy right now uh, is complete. Why? Because I'm saved. And I'm saved uh, because the Lord is good uh, and his mercy and his loving kindness. Uh, they endure uh, forever. Uh, they endure on good days. Uh, they endure on bad days. Uh, I'll praise him. Uh, listen, uh, just let me tell you something. I got to wrap this up uh, real quick. Uh, I went uh, this morning uh, to the garage. Uh, Lord, have mercy. And went to, to start my car. Uh, looked at my car. Uh, and the tire was flat. Uh, I didn't get an attitude. Uh, no way. Uh, I said, Lord, uh, I thank you uh, that I'm living in a house. Uh, and I got a garage. Uh, and I got a car. Uh, I remember uh, I was living uh, downtown uh, on Skid Row. Uh, I was sleeping uh, on benches uh, and now God uh, got me in a three bedroom house, uh, three car garage. Uh, I was able uh, to call my wife uh, of 30 years uh, and say swing on by uh, and get me and she shown up did. Uh, I will bless the Lord uh, at all times uh, and his praise uh, shall continually be uh, in my mouth. Uh, so I invite you, uh, I want to excite you uh, to bless the Lord. Uh, oh, give thanks. Uh, oh, give thanks. Uh, you might not have uh, what you think you ought to have, uh, but oh, give thanks. Uh, oh, give thanks uh, unto the Lord, uh, for he is good, uh, and his mercy, uh, and his loving kindness, uh, endure forever. You might be facing a, a hard time uh, right now, uh, but guess what? Uh, in the end, uh, you're going to show enough win. Uh, and if the truth be told, uh, you're a winner already. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I ain't singing no sad song. I ain't got no blues. <laughs> It's joy unspeakable and full of glory. And the half has not been told. God's been too good to us uh, to bring him a complaint list. He's been too good. He's been too kind. He's been too gracious. He's been too merciful. He's been too patient. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. For his mercy and, and his loving kindness endure forever. Thanksgiving ought to be every day we open up our eyes. Glory. All right, I'm going to stop. I got to keep my word. Amen. 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 Oh, give thanks. So before you, before you dig in and dive in. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. He is good. And his mercy, his loving kindness endures forever. All right. Let's bring God a thank you offering. We can dismiss and go on home. Amen. Amen. Give God a good thank you offering. Amen. Yeah, I'm going to have to spend money. For the tire, but I already worked that out. I walked around the corner to the tire place, and I said, I, I need you to come. He said, okay. I'm thankful that I live around the corner from a tire place. 
Huh? Don't want to drive the car on no rims. Nobody can do that stuff like that, but God, y'all think it's small. It's great to me. That's how concerned God is with every detail of our life. All right. I got, we got to be out of here in nine minutes. Because I said 11 o'clock, we get now. Amen. So as soon as you have your offering, as soon as you have it ready, just bring it. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he For is he is worthy. Good. For he is worthy. Worthy. For he is good. Yes, he is good. For he is worthy. Worthy. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks. Come on, church. Unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, we, are, oh, we are the Apostolic Faith Home Lord Assembly Church. For, for those of you that are viewing us by live stream, we thank God for you. We want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. We pray God's abundant blessings be yours continually throughout the remainder of the year and the remainder of your life. We're just so grateful that you chose to be with us. If we live in the Lord, will we'll see you this Sunday at 10 a.m. God bless you and happy Thanksgiving. He is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Turn down one more time. Yes, he is good. May the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide upon us henceforth, now and forevermore, until we meet again. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You are dismissed. Amen. Greet one another.